If you are a Mac user who wants to mirror iPhone screen on Mac, then we have the perfect solution for you. Using the built-in features of macOS and iOS, you can mirror any iPhone or iPad screen on Mac. Mirroring iPhone screen on Mac can be very useful in situations where you want to see what's happening on your iPhone on a larger display. Start by taking a USB-C lightning cable and plug it in on your Mac. Now take the lightning side of the cable and plug it in your iPhone or iPad. As soon as your iPhone starts charging, go to your Mac and launch the QuickTime player. You can search for the QuickTime player in Launchpad or search for it in Spotlight. Once the app is running, click on the file option from the menu bar and then click on new movie recording. Now click on the down arrow button located next to the record button and then choose your iPhone from the list. As soon as you do, QuickTime will show you the mirrored screen of your iPhone or iPad on your Mac's screen. Once the mirroring has started, whatever action I perform on my iPhone is shown in the mirrored image on the Mac. This allows me to see what's happening on the iPhone in a larger view on the Mac. As you can see, as I scroll on Safari, I can see the exact same image on the Mac without any lag. If I turn my iPhone in landscape mode, the QuickTime will also make the video in landscape and show me the exact same image. This can be very useful when you are mirroring a video playback or a game on your computer screen. Perhaps the best thing about this screen mirroring feature is that it also allows users to record what's happening on their iPhone on their computer. To do so, simply hit the record button in QuickTime and it will start recording whatever action you perform on your iPhone. You can even record gameplay video and share it with your friends from your computer. As you can see, I am playing Doodle Gym game on my iPhone and it is not only mirroring what I'm playing on my iPhone, but it is also recording the video which I can later share with my friends. As soon as you are done recording, all you have to do is click on the record button once again and then from the menu bar, click on file and then save. Simply name your file and hit the save button in order to save the video that you just recorded to your Mac. The video is saved in .mov format and can be played in QuickTime Player. You can also share the saved video recording of your iPhone screen with your friends or upload it to the web. We will put the sample video recording at the end of this video so you can judge by yourself and see if the video quality is up to your standards or not. So this was it for iOS Hacker and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. We will see you in our next video.